So I will definitely mess around with this. This will be the rest of my night, is screwing around with this radio. What is going on, everyone? So I got another battle box today. Another unboxing. This is for April 2016, and I have not opened it. I have not peeked. I have not looked at the website. I do not know at all what this is themed. So, without further ado, let's rip on into it. I'm excited. I love the battle box theme thing. And I'm using the Gonzo that I recently did a review on. Let's open her up. Alrighty. Look at that. That's a lot of stuff. So I wonder if they officially changed over their packing material to this from that straw stuff. Maybe people were complaining the other stuff was a little too messy. This is still pretty messy. <laughs> um, Alright. Mission 14 Blackout. I'll look at the stuff as I get there. Look at that. Sit rep. EMP attack. Cool. April 2016. And you can pause and read there if you want to. So it looks like it's stuff for if the power goes out, EMP attack obviously, and I'll look at the stuff as I go through it. Let's see here. <clears throat> I don't know that. Baofeng Professional FM Transceiver. Professional quality, user friendly design, long communication range, so it's like a radio. Oh, damn! This is sweet. Look at that! This is badass! Looks like a maybe extra battery. Nope, that's the, the battery itself. Sweet! Looks like it goes in like that. Clicks in. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. It looks like it comes with an antenna in the box. Oh yeah, the box comes with the charger, antenna, all kinds of goodies in there. So, I'll get that out and go over that, but now I'm like super freaking pumped to look at the rest of this stuff. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Some sort of liquid. Liquid jar. Emergency lighting. Odorless. Smokeless. So this is some sort of candle fuel. Something like that. I don't know what FFIN is. And it's by Battlebox it looks like. 115 hour emergency candle. So if the power goes out, this would 100% be useful. <laughs> What's this? What is this? Oh, these look like they're um, EMF blocking bags. Something like that, it looks like. You know how they make those wallets that are, uh, they block from people trying to steal your card number, your credit card number. Oh, different sizes. Here's smaller ones. And then here's these larger ones. So that's sweet. That'll keep uh, electronics safe from any type of solar flare, EMP, stuff like that. Looks like a flashlight. Peterson hybrid solar flashlight with battery backup. Recharges with any light source. Eight hours of light on one charge. Holds a charge for years. Well, that could be useful. Definitely throw this in a 72 hour bag or keep around the house. Faraday bag. So I guess that's what these are a cheaper form of? I don't know. Let me look at the info card that it comes with. So pack light, 16 solar light. That is the flashlight I just looked at. 115 hour emergency candle. That's that. Living off the grid book. Haven't looked at that yet. Nylon EMP Faraday bag. That's this. Faraday bag is basically like uh, if you make a Faraday cage, it's basically a metal enclosure with like foam and stuff and it protects stuff from EMP or, or electromagnetic magnetic frequencies. So that's this is kind of another form of that. So that's what the Faraday bag is. Small Mylar EMP bag times two. Large and medium EMP bag times two. So I guess there is another size. Yep, here's the large. EMP bag. 
So this is what you're going to want to keep your, you know, walkie-talkies, your emergency radios, any emergency electronics you're going to want to keep in these bags because they protect against electromagnetic frequency. What's this here? This looks neat. Let me get the card again. This is the... Okay, so this is the Luminade Pack Light 16 Solar Light. So I guess that wasn't... Oh, okay, here. So the radio and the flashlight were part of the, if you got the advanced. So if you got the basic package for um, $24.99, everything, you'd get everything included except these two items. So I mistook the Luminade pack light for being the hybrid solar flashlight. So the Luminade pack light, 16 solar light, I'm not quite sure what exactly <laughs> this is. It says Battle Box. I'm not quite sure what this is. Pack light with LEDs and a solar panel on there. I guess you fill it with water and it lights up really bright? I'm not or you fill it with air. There's an air valve right there. So you fill it up with air. Oh! So it's just a, it's a lantern. It's like a fold up lantern type thing. That's freaking awesome. I've never even heard of these. Looks like there's a few different modes there. There's off. So it's a lantern. You blow it up with air. And it's solar powered, and then the light fills the entire, you know, blown up enclosure and makes like a, an area light. That's freaking sweet. I didn't even know those existed. And then it looks like here's the book, Living Off the Grid. Like I always say, mostly in these paddle box videos, is that literature in an emergency is going to be, you know, life or death in a lot of situations. It's going to be, you know, you can't just Google something. You're going to need to have books on specific topics, specific things, stuff you can physically reference, you know, when Google's gone. Looks like that is it for everything down in here. There's a couple info cards. Get 20% off. Use BattleBox20 as a promo code. Nothing on the back there. Then here, 10% off, $10 off, rather, for Luminade. And that's that um, lantern type thing. <laughs> Solar, featured on Shark Tank, that's pretty cool. So, one more double check, make sure there's nothing in there. Pretty sweet this month. I like this stuff. So, Living Off the Grid book. Sweet inflatable lantern, I guess you would call it. Solar powered with LEDs and different modes and cool stuff. Um, never even knew these existed, but now I have one. A 115 hour emergency candle. That's plastic, so obviously that wouldn't light. I don't know, I don't want to take it apart and spill it, but there's a wick that goes down in there. And I'm, I imagine you actually light it at the top here and maybe it extends up. Not quite sure, I'll get into that later. The hybrid solar flashlight. Sweetness. A couple different settings there. First click, second click, third click, power off. Got all these sizes of EMP bags that protect electronics. If there were to be a solar flare or electromagnetic catastrophe. Got smalls, smalls, mediums, and larges to hold various sizes of electronics. Got the canvas Faraday bag. So it has a little bit of instructions there on how folding it over and I imagine this would be a little more heavy duty than this and it looks like some sort of metal screen mesh that actually blocks the electromagnetic uh, waves. So this is going to be a little more heavy duty than these bags here and a little more protective of your sensitive electronic equipment. And then last but not least and the absolute coolest I do think is this emergency radio that it came with. Um, I threw the antenna on and some other things it came with are a charging bay for the battery 
the cord and AC outlet for the battery, a lanyard to throw on if you want a lanyard on it, and then a pocket clip if you want to throw a pocket clip on it. And there's two holes on the pocket clip, and then there's two screws and a mounting surface that goes back here. And it powers up. Powered up, and looks like there's tons of options with this thing. I'll have to mess around with it. it. Looks like a little LED light. I'll have to mess around with it. You know, get familiar with it. Just like anything that I do have. Got a bunch of modes there. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. So, pretty sweet. I used to have an emergency CB radio. But for some reason, the battery inside, I kept it in all the time, started corroding, and it got completely just full of acid and battery acid. So I, I had to eventually throw that away. So this will definitely replace that. I haven't gotten any since, and now it's cool to finally have one again. So I will definitely mess around with this. This will be the rest of my night, is screwing around with this radio and looking at all the coolness factors of it. But this is my unboxing. Sorry if it ran a little bit long. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, keep on keeping on, and have a good one.